say talk to people, who who do you mean? What stakeholders are you wanting to engage with? So usually all the service management teams, uh, EUC, um, everyone and anyone that you can really. So I spoke to various teams, so literally pretty much all of the EUC teams, um, service managers, change managers, infosec, risk and control, anyone who would be involved or find any of the ITAM information and data useful, uh, anyone who would benefit an ITAM practice being put into place, any team remotely making use of or finding benefit from reduce risk, reduce, you know, things like that. So InfoSec were very much interested as to what I was going to do, um, what tooling we were looking at, etc. cetera. Um, but generally everyone in EUC and I'd say infrastructure, InfoSec, it was very varied, but you'd speak to one person who would then say, actually, I think you should speak to this person as well. So it's kind of a rolling down the hill kind of effect. It spiraled. <laughs> it definitely spiraled. And I'll be honest, I spent many, many weeks having conversations and intro calls to a point where I knew my intro off by heart. And um, if I had the same person in the same meeting, I would have to apologize to them <laughs> because they'd heard it so many times. It definitely helps to understand the business, especially when you move from one industry to another. I spent nine years in education and moved to corporate setting. And you know, that the, the mergers obviously mean that the structure isn't the same as everywhere else. Um, teams are structured completely different than what you expect, but it works. So it's just understanding the business more from an industry that you haven't worked in. No, I totally get that. And I think um, I, I would echo the kind of intro advice that you give there and talking to as many people as you can. But do you not find that it, your first few weeks are so tiring just because you are meeting so many people? You've got to remember so many names, job titles, tools that they use, challenges that they face. You've got like a one note the size of goodness knows what. And kind of like exactly like you said, you, you do know your intro off by heart. You, you get yeah. that smart, that not exaggerated, but a slightly exaggerated version of yourself because you want to make a good first impression. You want to show your passion um, for ITAM and what you, you're doing in it. And it does when it cuts to like week two or week three and you see like another 45 minute hour intro call with someone else like, oh, my God, like another one. Like you're so tiring. I know. I know. And actually, I missed out finance, procurement, those those types of teams that was that, that's a definite bonus to talk to uh, to find out how they're buying things you know how they're managing budgets forecasting etc because you can absolutely help on that side but you're right no i was tired by week six of intros i was absolutely smashed um my you still remember your intro <laughs> no, i'm not gonna do it for you oh. <laughs> but you're right no it was honestly my my calendar was blocked out for nearly I'd say four or five hours a day of meetings and whether that was um i joined just before the um, budget round was done so i was involved in all those three hour long meetings and it was it was absolute killer but it was good to understand how they were doing it you know where the focus was and and things like that but yeah you're right my my calendar was like multicolored and it was just completely full yeah. every week i <laughs> feel the pain man but it's good though because yeah once you get to know everyone and break the ice it's good but yeah, you're right. You, you do recite that intro even in your sleep in the first few weeks uh, of a new organisation.